If curators feared the coronavirus could cost them their jobs, now they have to worry about robots replacing them. And it's all because of the Bucharest Biennial. The artificial intelligence program Jarvis will select the artworks that'll be showcased at the 2020 Bucharest Biennial. It'll do so by accessing databases of universities and galleries. It might be fitting since this edition of the event will take place in virtual reality. Well, we have Jarvis's creator here, Razvan Ion, who joins me from Vienna. Hi, Razvan. Thanks so much for coming on our show today. Good afternoon. Okay, so why don't we start with this? What is Jarvis um, capable of as a curator compared to a human curator? Um, first of all, I think it's, it's a little bit uh, too much to compare uh, an AI curator with a human curator. Uh, Jarvis can do almost everything uh, a human can do, like any AI, but uh, except two things, which for the moment we did not uh, get that with uh, artificial intelligence, it's understanding and meaning. Uh, but still, it's a concept which we cannot yet work with, uh, with um, artificial intelligence. But Jarvis can do... Um, a lot of things can write the, the concept, can uh, organize the exhibition, uh, can choose the artist. It, uh, everything is from a database we constructed out of databases around the world. Okay, uh, Rosvan, why don't you explain to us why you don't like the comparison between a human curator and an AI curator? Because no, obviously, I, I, I mean, I, the reason why people compare these two things is pretty obvious because normally humans do this job. So why don't you tell me what that comparison makes you feel like? And no, uh, it, it's not about that. It's not I like it or I dislike it. Uh, it's just a fact, a scientific fact. Uh, for the moment, we didn't invent everything that can replace a human. So that's a non-discussion, actually. Because you, you cannot discuss about something which is, does not exist yet. So you do not think that uh, the discourse around this is right, which is can... AI replace humans in, when it comes to curating. Okay, so still though, it's interesting that an AI, that AI will be the curator of a biennial. So I want to even like further investigate that. How will it work, for example? I mean, we know that curators, for example, start with maybe setting up uh, the curatorial tone, the theme behind a bi biennial. Is this the way are you going to start? How is it going to work, the whole process? Ja Jarvis, for the first, will write the concept and then accordingly to the concept we choose as an artist. So it will work as a human curator, basically. Um, but uh, again, what is uh, the difference is Jarvis can work faster mm -hmm. and, for example, can process uh, thousands of texts in a couple of hours, which a human curator cannot. Uh, also, I think it's very important to um, to think about uh, artificial intelligence as a, as a way of making things more democratic. Uh -huh. Because at, at this moment, all these games uh, in the art world, they play, uh, all the people they play on the, on the art world, I mean, I know this scene from 25 years, and it's still, I think it's not really democratic. I think Jarvis can bring a little bit of more uh, democratic choice in, uh, in the art field. Okay. So we can see more new artists than we see right now. Because most of the curators are working with the same artists. Mm -hmm. If you look at the, what they do, an exhibition, a biennial, you will find kind of the same artists in the same curatorial act. Okay, so do you think that it will also democratize the relationship between a curator and an artist? Because, uh, well, a lot of curators, star curators, are being criticized more and more for, you know, stealing the stage, really, from the artists. So do you think that could also bring a new perspective? Uh, for sure. Uh, first of all, it will not be um, any, uh, let's say, uh, counterposition between artist and the curator, because Jarvis cannot fight with you. So Jarvis will do just what he is supposed to do. And what I really like about artificial intelligence is the fact the emotional intelligence are not involved. Uh, most of the people who will react and will say, yes, but this is art, it's about emotion. Uh, what is emotion in uh, selling works in a gallery? 
all these emotion in when you choose only the artists you prefer to choose because later you will need them to be increasing the price uh, in the galleries or be increasing a museum which is uh, usual so i think jardis will do things which um, are supposed to do a curator but also not involving this type of uh, connections because Jarvis doesn't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well, on the other hand, obviously biases, we talked about curatorial biases and why the art world is, you know, being criticized for being not democratic enough and all that. But then obviously biases come from subjectivity and really like authenticity and the human touch and the human element. So in that sense, not having that subjectivity is good for democratization, but then it could be bad for several other things. Do you fear that you won't put up a show that is not as authentic as the other biennials? No, I'm not afraid of that because what we do, it's actually, um, what we will do, it's a biennial in a virtual gallery curated by artificial intelligence. So it will be a new idea to explore. It's not only uh, how Jarvis will function or how the gallery will be in the VR, but the mechanism, the process is more important than the result because the process will bring us new ideas and it will bring us a new type of working. Uh, and this is very important because progress comes only from this type of uh, trying different ideas. This is how the curator was invented, yeah. invented as well. Razwan, I want to put forward that the curatorial process in this biennial is actually an artwork as well. It's a performance, is it? Uh, yeah, you can say that, but mm, we still work on the, on the words, proper words to define what we do, uh, <laughs> because it's something really new. And uh, uh, as you uh, suspect, I think uh, we work uh, relentless to making Jarvis more and more um, more and more intelligent, more and more uh, expanding. And uh, uh, I truly believe uh, it will be a very interesting exhibition and we can analyze the possibility of working with an AI curator. I don't really believe we are prepared for an AI artist. Of course, most of the people will say yes, but it is existing at, at this moment, but it's not really an AI artist. So I think it will be interesting to explore these possibilities mm -hmm. of working with artificial intelligence because at the end of the day everybody will be happy think about uh jarvis will never think about uh, all these arrangements on the on the field uh, if jarvis is hired as a curator for a gallery it will think only about the artists of the gallery uh, it will think only about how the gallery can achieve something out of that uh, Usually a human, I am a curator, uh, and a human usually, this subjectivity you talk about, and we talk, we really talk, it's, it's like it's something extraordinary, interesting, human, uh, beautiful. Sometimes it's not, because there are other interests behind that mm -hmm. subjectivity. Okay, Razvan, Ion, it is so interesting to think about what this can bring into the art world, but unfortunately this is all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for joining us.